So today is July 1st, which means it is my birthday and I wanted to do a birthday vlog since I'm stuck inside and I still want to have fun. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me for what I'm doing today for my birthday. And let me tell you already, a lot of things have happened to like give like a quick, a quick what's going on. So this morning, I got ready because I want, I mean, I didn't really get ready. I was, I got half ready because I was going to get ready more later, but now I'm feeling lazy. So I don't really think I'm going to end up getting really ready, ready. But I uh, kind of just dressed up instead of like sitting in lounge clothes all day. And then my, um, a couple of my friends from work, they came and they surprised me and I haven't seen them since like the beginning of quarantine. They were just here for like a little bit and they dropped off the most precious things ever. And I just like, it just like means so much right now, especially because like I really did miss them a lot and I didn't know when I was gonna see them again. Um, but let me show you guys what they got me. So first they got me these balloons that say 24 because I'm turning 24 and they got a bunch of little cute balloons. And they also got me this really cute plant and also lavender, which is gonna look so pretty when I dry it up. I think it might already be dried a little bit. So I'm going to get a pot for that. We can sit in the fridge. So, so, so. They also got me a cake and we kind of have like a tradition at all of our birthdays, we always just get the Paris baguette cake just because, I don't know, we like like it. So they got me a cake, so I'll be, I'll be able to eat that later. I think they got me a strawberry cake. And then actually while I'm here, I might as well say, yesterday Eric brought me macaroons because macaroons are my favorite. So he actually bought me oh, three three boxes of them so i'm like super excited to indulge on macaroons um to clearly today is like as if i'm not on a diet so that's fun 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 and i just have a feeling that a lot more is here to come i also actually have to eat lunch and lunch just came so i ordered thai food for lunch today because i have been craving thai food so much so i don't even know we got so many like starters uh, I guess I'll start with the main. I got a beef patsyu, very, very yummy. Um, I also got takoyaki because I love takoyaki. Oh, they like really wrapped this. So the takoyaki, very yummy, yummy. And then we also have chai pancakes. This is the wings. The place is called Hero Thai. My friend told me about it. She said it's so good, so I'm really excited to try their food. And then we also got crab rangoon. So currently we are walking to our friend's restaurant that will have no one there <laughs> except for us so it will be completely cleared but obviously as you can see we are going to be very safe but yeah and I did my makeup so I'm really really excited I haven't been outside in a very long time everyone looks so happy it almost feels like everyone's on it kind of feels like everyone's on break um, like on vacation together like I feel like um, in Europe, people are very like everyone takes the day off together. Yeah. You know, <gasps> look at the moon. It's so pretty. So I'm actually sitting in my kitchen because I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to cook some lunch today. We are eating salmon with pasta and onions and mushrooms. How? I don't know. I just, those are the ingredients that I have and those are the ingredients I need to use. Today we are cooking, we are eating, we are editing. I think that's it.
Okay, so we have a olive oil pasta with mushrooms and onions and then we have salmon at the top and I have my vitamins I take every single day and Henry's the cameraman so if you see him, he's right here. Henry, do you approve? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you can't eat it. Let's try the salmon. I air fried it at 350 I think um, for four minutes and it's already all cooked last time I did it for the full eight and I feel like it was a little dry this time it's good Oh my gosh, the pasta is so good. That olive oil, mm. so good. I like the mushrooms and I like the onion and I like the pasta and I like the salmon. Can I help you? You want to sniff? You can't eat it, but you can sniff it. Okay? No eating, just sniffing. Do you want to sniff my hand? Henry's pretty good about not eating human food. He just gets really close that his like face is essentially in your food, and I just like. Yes. What do you want to do? You want to go in the closet? Yeah, the closet. Henry. Can I finish eating first? Henry? Henry? Excuse me. Can I, can I finish eating first? Can I finish eating first? Yeah? You okay with that? Oh, there you go. You see him? Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, so I got an eye infection on Sunday and whenever I get an eye infection that means like for literally the rest of the month I can't wear contacts which means I also usually avoid doing like eye makeup and stuff But I think I figured out how to handle my eye infections now. It's really weird I don't even know if it's an eye infection It's just one day I wake up and like it feels like someone's spraying alcohol into your eye And I just cannot open it. I can't open my eyes at all. Literally on Sunday I was walking around the apartment blind it was really bad, but the one thing I learned was I had to eat blind. Um, and while I was blind eating, I realized that a lot of times because we eat with our eyes, I have this problem where if I see food, I have to finish it. Whereas when I was blind eating, I didn't know how much food there was left. So it was really just up to me to decide when I want to stop. And oddly enough also, because throughout the day I have zero temptation because my eyes are freaking closed and it's more of a hassle. Really, I only went to eat when I was really hungry and I feel like I ate pretty... Like at the end of the day, I was like, wow, I ate a lot of food today, but it was all really yummy because I ate in like moderation. And so it kind of like opened my eyes about like food portions and just like the idea of how we consume. 
So I, I don't know. I kind of want to see how to like apply that without like being blind. Um, but it was an interesting practice, I will say. So after yesterday I ate, I just ended up doing some dishes and just like laying around. I can't even remember. I feel like I just end up like doing like TikTok and just like wasting time. <laughs> but what did happen was last night my nail broke and this morning I had to cut them. So now I no longer have claws and now we're left with paws. But um, my pinky nail, I don't know if you guys can see, but like it like broke off right there. So I have to try to fix it. So I heard if you like cut a tea bag paper into the size that you want and you use like a top base coat, it works. So I'm gonna hope that that works. But before I do that, I did buy one thing off of Zara recently. I've been trying really hard not to buy clothing. I know that recently I did a haul and I did buy clothing. Um, but overall, like I try to go through my clothes um, a lot these days just to remind myself that I have a lot and I need to calm down. So um, usually I go crazy during Zara sales, but after going crazy for so many years, now I just have so many shirts. So I decided to only buy one shirt, but I wanted to show you guys the shirt that I got. So I got, it's so funny, it looks, the fabric is interesting. It's like very uh, not fabric-like, but what I like about it is that I feel like it would feel so cool and like airy during the summer. But I don't have any shirt that's this color, um, but I think, it, I think it looks so cute. Hold on, let me go try it on. Does this look weird? <laughs> I feel like I actually really like the design. I just feel like this area looks like weirdly big. I will say that you can also wear it like up like this, but um, I think that just made things worse. Oh, I was really excited about this shirt. Ugh, this is the only one that I decided to buy. I don't know, like I like it, but I don't. I just feel like it doesn't look good on my body type, which seems to be a trend with me picking clothes. Guess I'm gonna return it. But yeah, this is the one thing that I bought and this is what I'm gonna return. <laughs> Whatever though, it is a learning. More importantly, we gotta, we gotta figure this thing out. So I have my tools here. I have my tea bag, my filer just in case. Ooh, tiny scissors. This is like a double duty base and top coat, so I feel like that would work in tweezers to help me get it on. But I'm first going to try to measure, I don't really know. It's so tiny, like, ah! like that's it. <laughs> and I guess I just apply that on. Please don't fly away. I actually have the fan going, so I'm a little bit scared. But it's so hot in New York these days. I think this week, it's like all low 90s, high 80s. And it sucks because it's like, it's one thing if it's like dry and it's like low 90s and high 80s, I can do that. That's a freaking walk in the park. But it's like another thing when it's humid and it's like on and off thunderstorms. I applied the base coat on the Crack. Did I get it on? Just in case, I'm gonna apply another layer of base top coat above it. I kind of want to cut off the edge. I don't know. Okay, I think we fixed it. You see the little band aid? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh.